it's just that we had so many technological developments in the 20th century in particular, that there's a long list of legacy problems that need fixed. The, the, uh, the dark side, the negative side of the technological developments. And it's such a long list that's going to require concerted, concerted effort to deal with them. I mentioned the development of new power sources in solar power and, and the fusion. But it's also just a matter of cleaning it. Well, even if we introduce those next year, it's quite clear that uh, carbon sources are going to be providing electricity and providing heat for, for decades to come. And therefore, we need a way of dealing with that problem as well. And so a major, there's going to be a major effort, which is going to require great engineering achievements to deal with a problem called carbon sequestration, taking the carbon, which is already coming and will continue to come from burning coal, from uh, using oil and so on, taking that carbon, find a way of sequestering it, separate, <coughs> separating it, and then, and then securing it, burying it in a, in a place that, that, it will, that it will remain, not so that it will not go into the atmosphere. So these are various technical challenges for dealing with the legacy problems from the 19th to the 20th century. And they're not just legacy problems, of course, we will be continuing to burn coal on into the 21st century, so the problem will, will accumulate. But we not only have to fix the problems uh, that, that we inherited from the, tw from the 20th, 19th to 20th century, but we expect those problems to continue to manifest problems, so we have to be able to deal with those.